Hello there, Dominic here with a video about path constraint. Uh, actually, it's a video about trying to answer a question on the forum. Someone wants help with curve clone or curve instance tool and is trying to make the, a mesh follow a rounded path. Uh, his, I've created uh, some mesh items here that are a simplified form of the mesh he's using. And the idea is to duplicate the meshes along a path and have these sides over here kind of connect to one another. Now he's talking about curve cloning or curve instance tool but I think that he will, will want to use something, a setup like this, namely I have duplicated meshes over here and of course I can also uh, do this with clones. Uh, and each mesh has a path constraint, so I've selected this mesh now, I'm going to press the F key over my item list to frame it. So this is mesh 19 and you see it has a path constraint and it's path constrained to that curve and it has give, been given an offset 0.85. So if I change that offset you see it uh, now you see it also rotate because it also has an up vector but without that up vector it would stay upright. So you see with that path offset I can give it a position on the curve. Control Z to undo. So and that has been done for each mesh. They all have a path constraint to that curve. And I've also parented an equal number of simple locators and I'm going to first press escape to deselect everything, select that locator and press the F key over my item list to frame it. You see it's locator 4 and it has been parented to the curve. So all locators have been parented to the curve and they act as up vectors and this results in the fact that when I rotate the curve all these locators will rotate exactly in the same amount and then all meshes will point exactly into the right direction. So let me show you when I rotate the curve, or better, it's master because I've parented all the the parented so the locators are parented to the curve, and I've parented the curve and all the meshes to a master locator. So now when I select that one, and when when I move it, of course all, everything moves. But when I rotate it, everything follows along like that. So I think this is or might be an answer to the question or the problem that he is having. Uh, so a path constraint constraints constrains the, 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 the mesh items constraining the mesh items to the curve and then for each mesh item uh, an up vector so that that is being parented to the curve so that when I rotate the curve that the meshes follow along as they should because if you see for instance now if I select that up vector and move it you see I can even with that up vector individually rotate around if I wanted to but probably that's not what he's after anyway I think something and a setup like this might be the answer to his problem now I'm not very fluent yet with rigging but I hope this does provide an answer to his question. This was Dominic, bye for now.